Hey everybody, Jabman025 here. Today I'm taking a look at a high grade from The Witch from Mercury, the Gundam Calabarn. Calabac. Caliban. Whatever. Calabarn is what they call it. I think they're mispronouncing it, but whatever. This is the final big god suit Gundam from the end of the show. I also call it the Rainbow Gundam. First off, start from the head. This is one of the Best looking heads on a high grade I've ever seen. I mean, that's just cool. You got the white, you got the green, you got the red, you got the rainbow V fin. You got some stickers on the back, you got stickers for the eyes, but they're already green, you don't have to have them. You got a sticker for the black part and then a clear smoke on top of that so it doesn't even look like a sticker. That's just cool for a high grade. That's amazing right there. And, like I said, detail is off the charts, especially for a high grade. Torso. It's nice. Uh, they give you one piece that doesn't require a sticker. But, quite frankly, the sticker looks just as good because they have a smoke uh, clear part on top of it. And they give you the sticker anyway. Uh, stickers for the shoulders. They give you plain black if you wanted to do that instead of, like, that grid look. But... Honestly, why would you want to do that? More stickers on the torso, or the torso, more stickers on the thighs. There is a couple stickers on the torso also. And some clear blacks, or clear smoke black on the back of that too. And this looks really, really good for a high grade. Is it a little sticker heavy? Yeah, but I can't really think of a better way to do those grid parts anyway. Can it stand? Yes. It's got a bit of a smooth criminal going on, but it'll stand. Pretty big backpack on the back, two beam sabers, two big thrusters. The back skirt armor is kind of huge too, but we'll talk about why in a bit. They give you an action stand. Does the Gundam as it sits right now need it? No. But it will later, and I'll show you why. But it does look really good airborne. I like that it, in, even in the instructions say, if it's airborne, point the toes down. Now you got this thing. This is a huge rifle with giant thrusters on the back. And yes, it kind of reminds you of a witch's broom. Has two handles, one on the side, one on the top, that serve no purpose other than to look like it's holding it because this giant arm bracket is going to attach near to the onto a uh, ball joint on the backpack. The thrusters, all that green is all stickers. So yeah, a lot of stickers back there. I would have preferred they put a little green back there instead, but hey, it's a high grade. What do you want? Uh, the gun is a little sticker heavy. You got another sticker up here at the front, one on the scope, uh, all that stickers on the back. It's a bit much, but like I said, it's high grade. I'll cut some slack. Uh, this thing is heavy as sin. The fulcrum point is way back here. So yeah, no, no, the fulcrum point is way back there. That's why that bracket is necessary. Even with the bracket on and even with the action base, this thing is side heavy. That shows you how insanely heavy that rifle is compared to the rest of the kit. Uh, also, the shield bits. You can take them all apart. There's a couple stickers on there. The center frame goes somewhere else. I don't know where. Same place Optimus Prime's trailer does, perhaps. Um, and all these parts can then attach on, and you get the final form of the Calabar Calabarn, whatever. And this looks amazing. I did have to glue a piece. The idea is you can put it on or take it off. That gray piece on the back just kept falling out. It would not stay in there. So I did glue it. If you want to, you know, change it back and forth from a shield, that's not practical. But I don't. I want it to stay like this in my collection. I think it looks better this way. Bits on the shoulder, bits on the side skirt, uh, bits on the forearm and the backpack. It just looks cool. Final thoughts on this kit. For a high grade, this is really good. Is it sticker heavy? Yeah. But at certain points, like those colorful grid stickers, I don't know how else you'd do that. Plus, they have a smoke uh, gray or smoke black on top of most of them, so it makes it look better anyway. And I can't really think of a better way to do this. That top piece on the chest, that's already like pre-done for you. But quite frankly, the sticker looks just as good. So... I mean, the bottom part you see there on the chest, that is a sticker. I really can't tell the difference. But yeah, 
really good kit for high grade. I kind of like it. I'd like to see a master grade. I doubt it'll happen. But I've been wrong before. Well, gang, thanks for watching. I know this was a, for, a short video, but it's high grade. But it's a good kit. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative. If you have any questions, please ask me. I will answer them as best I can. Please stay tuned for more. I always have more reviews, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, and one more thing. I used artificial intelligence to create an image of the term Rainbow Gundam. It is horrifying, and the hands greatly disturb me.